He wants to lead the case. You got your commit munition? That's fine. Don't be using them to mess up my career. Whoa! What did they just give him? Oh! He just gave a piece of paper with the address. Oh shoot! Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. Well, here we go. Are they going to explain to us what this whole FBI thing was? Like, that whole scenario was just bizarre as heck. Or was it even the FBI? That's the other question. Is this a bedroom? Yeah, so why did they... So what's this whole situation? Why are they there in the first place? Maybe they've just got tabs on it, you know? You might have just compromised the terrorism investigation. Oh, shoot. But that is their fault, though, because they went in without warrant. Maybe if they'd gone through that process, they would have gotten it. So who's going to get blamed? They won't tell us anything else. And why would they? You were breaking through a padlock door without a warrant. I said they so. Were for I said so. Bombers. Don't go near this building until then. They're going to do it anyway. They're going to... They'll start disobeying and going reckless, etc. But that's the thing. They could have just found a scene, but somehow, somehow it's linked to this terrorism. Oh, my God. Jack. <laughs> Shooting games. Nice. I didn't expect you to be there on a Sunday. I came to help Rick finish the filing. We've really gotten behind. Oh, what's... Can I help you? What's the bit you, he's, he's cheating? 100% that's going to be a plot line. Seriously, oh, why yes. would you let some random answer your phone? you don't really want to go. Okay, good start to pause, guys. First things first, being as I didn't do my usual intro, I'm not going to be doing that intro anymore, guys. The intro you did see is going to remain now. I just want you to let me know what you thought of that style rather than me rambling at the start. Uh, it does sort of mean that I'm not going to speak late beforehand. It does mean that things aren't as fresh in my mind while I'm watching it. That's why I'm going to sit there and go... Oh, that's right a lot. <laughs> that's going to happen quite a lot more now, guys, because I'm not going to be doing that sort of review sort of session. So yeah, let me know what you thought about it. Now, basically, the reason I'm pausing it now is because I do want to speak about one thing that I'm really intrigued about, and that's Lyndon's progression as a character and when she's going to accept the fact that she's not going to leave this place. This job is her, and as much as she may think it's in some ways it's very harmful to her, I think this is just a bit, well, that's a part of it. You can't just cut and snip away at yourself, you know. This is her now, so this is something she's not going to be able to just walk away from. And I'm just curious as to when that's going to, like, when that realisation is going to happen that that is the case. Like, because currently she's sort of in denial that she wants to stay, she kind of wants to leave, she's got that situation with her husband, who, by the way, I think is cheating. Anyway, I wonder when that's going to kick into play and when she's going to sit there and say to herself, okay, this is where I belong and this is my, well, this is what I need to be doing. All the photos. There's so many factors as well, guys. Remember the things that she had bought for her, the situation around her death, how she died, what happened to her, everything. She was in a forest as well. That's something that, like, that's the thing. We haven't explored that at all yet. Okay, bye. Is it out of date? Oh, extra. <laughs> He's just not organized. But that's just what happens, though. Life's going to get hectic. First, the All Stars program. It's finished. No. Not without a fight, Jamie. In addition to boning you up see, on my Cicero, I did some legal research down. last Come night. Come on. See, I like this Hunt guy. I like this Washington State Apple Advertising, 1977. An organization has standing to challenge any government action injurious to the organization itself. Now, this is good. The lawyers, they're all over it. Which Ooh. brings me to prong number two. We go on the offensive. We attack. A new ad buy. Come I'll on, Richmond. my parents if I have to. But this other guy's smart, Adams though. He's, the ad man Cuso ran an O2. You're yeah, the one linking Adams to the slush fund scandal. Adams wants to play dirty. So will we. Just like the taste of mud. Okay, a quick little pause about Richmond. I really like his character. At first, I was sort of like... I'm not really sure, eh, because it seems like he's dodgy, he's got something going on, maybe his interests, well, his best interests aren't at heart. However, now that we're watching this, from what I can see, We've got a situation where Richmond is in fact doing what he thinks is right. This isn't about Jamie, this isn't about, I'm really bad with names, the, the, the girl, it's not about anyone else, it's not about the mayor, it's about him and, and what he wants to do, what he thinks is right. 
which at the moment seems right. Like, he's not just laying down like a dog and letting people, you know, trample over him. The only issue is, and this is sort of like a point that I did want to bring up in previous reactions, but I think I did forget about, is Richmond, as much as I want him to win that position, the sad and horrible thing about the world today is that's just not how it works. Being too nice or being too good is never going to win you those things. Which is horrible, yes, but that's just the case with everything, right? I don't agree with it, but that's just how the world works, isn't it? That's just how the world works. I mean, look, not taking any specific digs, but Donald Trump, I know, like, I don't want to make this channel political or anything like that. And if you do support him, that's completely your decision. But for me, come on. See what he can dig up. So on it. But Jamie, no personal attacks. We go after policy, not character. Come on. All right. That's the thing. See his reactions there? It's like, oh, if I was in your position, I would go personal. Richmond doesn't. He's very much more, well, he's motivated by what matters. There we go. And here's the thing with Holder. But no, we, what we know now is he's getting money from these people and he seems to be giving it to this family. And I presume it's his family. I got a pack of feds up my ass. A mayoral candidate breathing down my neck. Wait, this is the way what? you run your investigation? How did that happen? Maybe the, the feds leaked it. Oh, well, they, they can I just jeopardize their own investigation. Let me just pause this. Something's just come into mind, and it's because of the direct sort of scene. This is a cutscene, right? The, the two scenes next to this cutscene. Scene one, Holder's scene getting money out of a car, doing some sort of dodgy trade, probably, right? Money, car. How's he getting this money? That's what I was just saying. How would he be getting this? The second scene is the crime scene photos leaked on the newspaper. Now, tell me. If I'm wrong about this, but what's the bet that Holder is leaking evidence to the media, that's how they know about these things, for money. And then that money he's sending to his, I think it's going to be his family, it's going to be some sort of personal issue that he seems like personal responsibility to his family. It probably is his family, right? Either it's going to be Holder, or she's going to wrongly accuse Holder and he's going to get pissed about it. How did Holder transfer to City Homicide for County? Now Jenny. she's doing it. We're ready to start. Uh, the minute you start digging into someone's so life like that, it's just gonna go all wrong. So I'm, I guarantee you. Seattle's goodness sake. Have you married yet? How's your blackjack game? Any more payouts yet? Ooh. Just the primary in the case. I thought it might make sense for you to stay home for a few days. Just until they're gonna fire him. The suspect. They're gonna fire him 100%. I can't imagine how hard this hole must be. You can't afford any more aspects of this investigation being compromised. So they're going to take the case from her. Sorry for any problems they may have caused. Now they're going to end up stripping the case from Lyndon, or they're going to do something in that situation where they're going to go, this is our case now. We're just going to assume Rosie Larson's connected. It's not going to be connected, and whoever's the main centre of attention of Rosie's case is going to go well, into the dark, right? Cold case sort of situation, or territory. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back soon here. Just be quiet. Something's going to happen. Wait, she's left her kids in the car with the... I hope that garage is open, and she doesn't just l Did we do something wrong? Mm. No, just shut up. I'm trying to concentrate. The fighting, the bickering. I, I said so about the garage being closed. And they're going to end up passing Time out. To She's going to get her kids taken from her. The car after it was removed from it's the couldn't get worse. And this oh. is the truck where the body was found. What about the second shift? Yeah, you'll see. Here you well, go. Well, how about Wednesday, then? She's now coming, and she's going to start... Choking or No, you know I like working with you. Yeah. Oh my god, what? Oh no, so, so they're okay. Bloody hell. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. And now she's gonna get her kids taken from her for reckless stuff like that. I mean, rightly so probably, but it's not gonna help. Okay guys, I've spoken about this a few times in previous reactions about their family crumbling but crumbling <laughs> crumbling beneath itself the kids are starting to bicker uh, they're starting to dislike what's going on they're starting to realize the issues with the parents the father's getting mad frustrated overwhelmed stressed out he's losing trust the mother's just completely neglecting her children she's almost well she's just left them in a car running with the garage door closed and she's gone back inside to check something she's gotten distracted her kids well if that if her sister's not there her kids are dying. Stuff like that is going to get them taken from you. And watch the bit that happens, because I can see the arc. It's almost like a downward curve, and it's probably going to have an upward trend at the end. But currently, we're on the downward slope, right? It's going to get to a point where the marriage splits up, the family falls to absolute pieces. Child services gets involved. The father and the wife start arguing, and all of this, like this, like collateral damage, guys. Domino effect, and everything goes to crap. Well, they say 
Just talk nothing. to him. Nothing? You went there for like an hour. That's the issue. If you get close what to him. What your problem? Exactly. Oh, that's the thing. I'm kind of on hold of side Why don't you make yourself useful and stay here and do nothing? Oh. You still haven't arrested him. She's losing it. She's almost on... You've done nothing. She's on a further downward trajectory than Stan was. Like, Stan's almost gone down and he's on the way up. Look, She's now just clearly part of the down. law. We can't use this. Look, are you kidding? We have no choice but to use this. Darren, it can't be proven. And even if it could, how is that relevant to winning? Yeah. To the issues? Let me think about it. What even is it? I want to know what it is. It's a good thing I caught you. We have some duplicate bag numbers on the evidence list, so I'm going to have to take a look. Can't. No She's way. trying to snoop around she now. Cut her? She... She's just giving him a false name. Wait She's going to get herself into so much trouble. Hey, hey, you can't be in there. Hey. Oh, she's got a photo of the t-shirt You just broke t -shirt now. custody. Too bad it's your ass. Oh. Well, that's fair, but dude, she just, she's getting reckless, eh? She just doesn't care. If it's going to solve her the case, I mean, wouldn't you do it? That's the thing. You know, just stay home for a little while. How can you say that? Dude, she needs to be looked after. I've said this before. She just seems so sweet and innocent. Why won't you let them talk to Muhammad? Like you think I'm guilty too? If of he's not guilty, just say it. Unless it's got some sort of Why personal would you need connection to, think to that? I didn't even... Okay, I no longer think it's got anything to do with her. I'm, th I'm saying that now I have no long I no longer think it has anything to do with her. It'll be hers. Where did you find that? It is hers. But how could she be connected to terrorism? It was that teacher, wasn't it? Nah, but that's the thing. You'll be the first to know, I promise. Something really bad's gonna happen to someone that doesn't deserve it. You watched. I mean, that's what the show's doing, though. It's setting that up so much. He's still living his life. He's happy. Oh. It's, it's not right. Revenge. But it may... It depends on... Because if she goes after someone preemptively... She may be hurting someone innocent, and then what's she gonna think? It's over, Sarah. I did what I could, but uh, federal case takes priority. What did I say? That little stunt you what did I say? So, what did I say? I That's knew that was gonna happen. The mother I did the shirt. Now, you were supposed to train Holder. To treat him like a lap dog. Wait, what happened? What's going on? I have some concerns about his ability to be an effective investigator. Oh my god, Lyndon, don't! Talk to Holder about it, not him! Maybe it's time to think about wrapping up here, sir. Oh, now they're telling her to leave! Nah, you and you'll see, nah. She's mad, that, that's the thing, she's too connected. What did I say from episode one? She's not gonna go. Way too connected. She needs to speak to Holder, no one else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. Ugh. Okay, so Lyndon's pretty much just had her right to the case stripped, right? And they've sort of said to her, maybe you should wrap it up here and go. So they're now telling her to leave. We know she's not going to. She's having issues with the person or Rick at home. I think he's having an affair. She's not talking to Holder, which for me is the biggest issue. Just talk to Holder about it and things will be somewhat sorted. You don't need to do this yourself, Lyndon. And I think that's the problem. She's got this mindset where she just has to streamline everything. And she doesn't, like, I've always talked or spoken to them about, like, how Holder and London should be on equal playing field. They should know what each other are doing. They should feel comfortable talking to each other. It should be a really healthy relationship so they can discuss the, the weird things that are going on. But no, Lyndon's not doing that. She's just going to higher ups. She's avoiding Holder. She's not even taking him with her. She's doing the case by herself, and it's not going to solve it. And here's Holder again. Lyndon needs to talk to him now. Hey, Stan. Now, what's the situation with her gonna be? Everything all right? Thanks. For being a motherly everything. figure. But why does this feel weird? You're not. It's just dishes. This feels very, very odd, guys. I just don't want you to be mad at her, Stan. Wait, what happened? Okay, I was wrong about that. I was wrong about that. <laughs> Where's she gone? I found the kids in the car. Which left them there. In the garage. And the engine running. What did I say about crumbling? Stan is not gonna be happy with her at all. Dude! 
Gil's been doling out what I need from week to week, and the rest is in his safekeeping. Oh, you is it? better be man or I'm coming for you. <laughs> is this like a rehab thing, like drug issue or something? This may be the past that he's trying to Six avoid. Six months clean. I thought so. Oh my god, and look at the realization on Lyndon's face. She's just like, what have I just... When I, uh, She's judged the crap out of him. Uh, my nephew Davey, he's, he's seven years old. He's, he's, he's got this gold coin. Did he take it? He's real proud of it. I, I know that because he, he showed it to me. Been saving up all summer to get this thing. Wow. Did he steal something from his nephew and that's why he's repaying? Is that sort of like that? Nah. And I'll take it. Yeah. I, I'm almost certain Walking we're going to get a continued arc about this. He's awake. Is that why he doesn't go in to see that family? Is that what that and is? And I walk out. That's all I got. I can't really read what she's thinking. Because she had... Oh my god. And what did I say about finding out about the snooping? What yeah, did I Linda. say? This is Jack Linden's mother. It's just not going to yes. work well. What is it? Is he okay? He sent my son those horrible photographs. Like it was some kind of joke to him. What photographs are you talking about? That dead girl, the one who's in the... Wait, news. is that where it got leaked? Emailed email them to all his friends, Miss Linden. Oh really hard to be understanding here. my god. Why would you let this thing happen? His I didn't know. Her son was the one that did this? Okay, let's talk specifically about what we've just seen in these two scenes. So Holder was wrongly judged by Lyndon. I kind of thought that either he is doing this, like I said this before, either he was doing it, or Lyndon's going to wrongly judge him, and he's going to realise that, and it's going to create more conflict in the relationship. He's just seen her there snooping at his sort of like recovery conversation thing that he's probably very personal about. So that's going to annoy him so much in itself. There goes the trust in their sort of relationship. They're already on shaky floors with each other, so I'm, it's not going to get better. And I was worried that this was going to happen, that they were going to continue to create tension and then eventually not like each other, etc. That's happened. Anyway, we haven't seen anything about that, so we'll go over that in a second. Now, the next thing that we've just found out is that Lyndon's son was the one all along that shared those images out. Her son. And that's how it's gotten leaked. So it's nothing to do with the whole that he's been judged by so many different people, continues to be underestimated and judged and hated on, and it's not going to help him. And what's the bet that we continue to see this sort of struggle with drugs and the spiral that he may go through? And mm, it's not going to be good. I wonder if I can ever be forgiven. Oh, this is the court hearing about the person who killed I his wife. I believe it is, in fact, against our nature. But if you can, please. Is he going to forgive, forgive her? Me. I'm not sure, eh? Because one minute he's like against her being released and the next minute she's being or something's being said about is it you you can't forgive remember that that back when he even spoke to her, his uh deceased wife's mum so what did he forgive or didn't he that's my question Ooh. okay he didn't forgive he didn't forgive look at the anger on his face release it to the press Release the story on Adams. Now. Ooh. What did I say about ticking time bomb? Oh shoot. Oh Do you my have God. any idea what she you should, put that person through? What did she lose her job for that? You only care about other people's families. Whoa. I've had about enough of your smart ass remarks. Yeah, well why don't you just send me to live with dad? <laughs> so his dad is still dad alive. dad left ten years ago, so... Oh, That's probably not gonna happen. I was thinking about him dying. Mitch. Wait, so what's happening now? Is Stan getting rid of the room? Not gonna lie, it's a bit of a, a harsh thing to do without talking to her. on the future, Mitch. But he's got a point. It's been a week. I know what happened this morning. God. So he's just trying to help her. Mitch. This is why I'm happy. It's not like he's pointing fingers and... I'm not the one taking responsibility. God. You let her stay home that weekend. Oh. If you weren't so strict, maybe she wouldn't have hid things from us. And this is what I mean by the arguing. Look at it. 
There, this is the snap right here. Gone. There you go. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm with Stan, guys. I'm definitely with Stan. The mayor was paying upwards of $1,500 a month for an apartment housing his alleged mistress, a Janelle Stevens, a former intern in the Adams administration. You have no right to be here. Oh, wow. No comment. no comment. But now you've ruined her life. So that's the, that's the moral judgment, for goodness sakes. Hey, Linda. Hold her. What's with little man? Don't, please don't have something bad happen. Two relationships can't crumble in one episode, surely. Sweet you. Set up an emergency wiretap with the phone company. You get something. You get a judge to sign it off and make it admissible. Come on. Is this something, uh, you, is this something you want to ask me? Not anymore, no. You know why I'm so Good. happy about this is because they're openly discussing it. So no hate, no anger. And now they're going to help each other. This is... Finally! Come on! And she's setting the room back up? Wow. There goes their marriage. What did I say? Gone. He's talking to Muhammad? The passports will be arriving tomorrow. Call me when they do, then this will all be over. Oh. Don't worry about the police. They don't He's know. hiding it for someone? Maybe. On away. Got something on the wire. Oh yes. Here comes the evidence. What are we halfway through the season now? Boom. <laughs> okay guys, that's the end of the reaction. I mean, a lot to talk about. We're not gonna go over too much, but basically the episode kinda slower, but it, it's sort of the thing I got about that episode is it focused a lot on relationships and how things are starting to form for Lyndon, for Holder, we've got a bit of backstory for Holder, uh, the relationship between Stan and his wife and Mitch, her name is. Just lots of different relationships and how they're sort of being affected by this whole Rosie Larson case. And lots of personal characters as well. I mean, look at Richmond, how, how he's crumbling beneath himself. So my biggest praise, like I said, is the fact that we are exploring these characters, uh, the development of them, the relationships that we get to see, backstories. Uh, and for me, that is one of the most vital things you can do in a show like this, is it's not just going to focus on the crime, it's going to focus on the elements making it up. So the mechanisms between the personalities, the backstories, etc. And for me, it's fantastic. Now, obviously, we're at a situation now, we've got some evidence on a wire. Muhammad's, Muhammad and Bennett seem to be the ones that are like, hmm probably most likely involved with this case. I don't think Ben did it, but I think he is trying to cover something up. 100% he's doing something. He's hiding something from the cops. Muhammad, we need to explore a bit more and figure out what's going on with him. We've just got, obviously, the thing with the wire, the evidence. Now, first of all, Holder, one of my favorite, probably my favorite character in the show. Uh, he's been judged and, and, and he's been treated horribly pretty much since day one, since he's been on the case, right? Uh, Lyndon, as well, was in a situation where she was, she was judging him. She was assuming that he was unfit for duty. She was doing all these things without actually talking to him, without, without any just proper cause, right? She was just saying these things, doing these things, believing these things without any evidence behind them. Now the best thing for me is like obviously the situation where she follows him and she listens to his story. Now his story isn't, it's not clean. It's, it, he, he has, he's got a history with drugs and he's got a, obviously he's an addict who was an addict. Uh, and he got into a situation with his family where he sold something of his nephew so he can get drugs. And I think that was the peak of his, of his depressive state and the situation that he was in was the fact that he was willing to sell things that didn't belong to him and from people that actually mean something to him. The fact that he got to that position tells you that he was very far down a hole. But yeah, Lyndon sort of sees that. You sort of see that he's now six months clean. He's on his redemption arc. Uh, and instead of Holder, the thing, that, the thing that I like the most is instead of Holder getting mad that he or she was there snooping after him, he went into the mode of forgiving. He didn't go, he didn't even get mad at all. He just went, is there anything you want to ask me? You, you see what you get sort of thing. Can we move on? Can we finally work together and open up together? And that's what I've been waiting for all season. Them to actually work together. I've said that since like episode two that they need to work together and not work on these different sort of hierarchy levels. So yeah, we pretty much resolve a whole lot with Hold. We get a, do get a bit of a backstory, figure out all these sort of dodgy scenes with him, uh, and, and it sort of does clear a lot of things up. And for Lyndon, I do think that she's still going to have struggle with issues of trusting people and struggle with issues of working with someone, but at the same time, I think it is going to develop with her as a character. But yeah, that's all I want to talk about with those two. In terms of the other characters like Richmond, he's obviously spiralling with the situation with his wife dying uh, and the, the court case surrounding that and... 
And the whole situation with him is just, it's very unclear because he is sort of spiraling down a, a deep dark hole now. It's all very similar to the way Standard, you sort of see that parallel as well. Standard, the same thing, he went a bit violent, a bit dark. Uh, and I think, I think they're both on the sort of safe upper trajectory from that. I don't think they're going to stick to that. The one I am worried about the most is Mitch because Mitch... She's sort of, it's almost like, okay, think of a parabola, right? You've got a parabola that's a, that's a downward sort of, an up, upside down normal distribution. That's the sort of way you'd sort of, ex or the trend line you'd sort of expect someone to go. So you sort of down and up, th that sort of shape, that's what I'm trying to describe, it's like a shape. The thing with most characters, like Stan, for me, he went down and he's gone up. For Richmond, I think he's going to go down and up. The, the thing is that resilience to go back up. Now, the issue with me is that I don't think Mitch is going on that up. It's almost like she's hit the bottom and she's plateaued. She's just flatlined, a floor effect, but she's just going to stay on that sort of situation and it's not going to go up. She's really not letting go of the situation. Stan did try and take the room down and sort of change everything, but she's put it all back up again. She's doing reckless things. She, she almost seems like there's a tiny, empty bit of revenge in her eyes. Uh, and she's just generally not a happy person right now. And you can understand, but we can't help but fear for her situation and the way she's going to react to anything that further comes up. That's a lot of character stuff I just talk, spoke about, and I do really enjoy the fact that they are exploring it. I hope you guys did it, sort of understand that as well. Maybe I'm just rambling about nonsense, but for me, the character development is absolutely fantastic. Very similar to that of Broad Church's Calibre. I'm very happy because I did sort of say in a few, a few reactions prior that I was a bit worried that they weren't going to explore it very much. They did. Fantastic. Let's hope, let's hope that that continues and we do follow this trend line. Now, basically, it's just what next, and it's the same as most reactions. We only are only halfway through the season, so you can't really say specifically what next, but for me, investigate Muhammad, figure out what he's doing, what his situation is, Try and uh, advance this case in any way possible, take any lead. I mean, I know that there's this situation with the FBI and they're sort of taking the case away. But try and do this under the, under the rug almost and try and figure out this thing. Try and get justifiable, justifiable cause to continue this case uh, under their jurisdiction. That for me is the next big step, is to make sure that they are on the same grounds as all the other p uh, parties, if, that, if that's how you want to call them. But yeah. That's really all I want to say, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, as ever, don't forget to follow my Instagram, British Chapter 2 Pizza, link is in the description below. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of this reaction, what do you think of the whole character development situation that I've been talking about, and um, what do you think is going to happen with the marriage, because that is the thing that I'm extremely worried about. That whole dynamic, well, I keep calling it crumbling, let me know what you think of that theory about the crumbling and just generally... Things are going to crumble around this case, uh, and that's just what, what, what I think. This case is going to have a sort of domino effect, and it's going to crumble and create sort of situations around it that no one wants, but they're going to happen. But yeah, guys, that's all from me. As ever, this has been your boy, British Chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.